Hi and welcome back. My name is Ken Garris with Acclaimed Entertainment Weddings, owned and operated by Occasions Music. I've been working as the lead DJ trainer here since 1986. I know what works at weddings and what doesn't. Right now what I'd like to talk to you about is how long your wedding reception should last. Primarily, how long should the dancing portion last? So let's go back to the whole wedding reception. A typical wedding reception is six hours long. Guests may arrive, for example, at 5 p.m. That's your cocktail hour till six. Dinner music at six. And then seven to 11 will be the dancing time. There's your four hours for dancing. Once you take out your activities, you're gonna have a bouquet and garter toss, cutting of the cake. Maybe you're gonna have a dollar dance, or some parent dances. You'll probably get about three hours of dancing in. That being said, keep in mind, most disc jockeys are gonna quote you three hour packages or four hour packages. And many of them know that you're going to need to spend the money for those extra packages. And that's why they charge $140 an hour. So plan out ahead of time, especially if you're not using us, um, how many hours you're going to need to factor that into budgeting what your reception will be. But ideally, you're gonna want six. That being said, let's talk about how much dance time you're gonna to wanna to have. If everything runs on schedule, you're gonna have four hours, right? Cocktail hour, five to six, dinner, six to seven, seven to 11 for dancing. Generally, everything runs a little bit behind, so you're probably gonna be starting at about 7.30. 7.30 to 11 is fine for a wedding reception, for the dancing. I would not extend it past 11.30, and this is getting to the meat of this message. People will remember any event, whether it's a rock concert or whether it's your wedding reception, how they feel when they leave the event. Think about it. Last rock concert you went to, they play a slow song and say thanks for coming and send you out the door? No. What do they do with the last concert you went to? Well, first they leave the stage, like you don't know they're coming back for an encore. They get everybody all excited, beating the floor and everything. They come back in, they play that row up beat song and they send you home. Unless they think they can get away getting you a little bit more excited with the second encore. Wedding receptions aren't much different, except the DJ is not gonna be the focal point, making everybody stay longer. But you wanna end it when everybody's still having fun. If you wait until everybody's ready to go home, that's how they're gonna remember, boy, it's a long day, long day. But if you end when you don't think it should end, in other words, you think you should go another hour, it's a great time to end. End with a packed dance floor. Maybe end with the bride and groom's first song together, his husband and wife being played at the very end, this time with everybody around them in a nice big circle, something like that. But end while everybody still wants more. And everyone will be talking about how your wedding reception was the best party they've been at. They will always remember how they feel at the very, very end. So don't get duped into thinking, oh, we need to go another hour. And by the way, that's one of the reasons. Do you know what our overtime fee is? We only charge $60 an hour. That's only a dollar a minute for overtime. The standard, you know, is 140 an hour. But we make our money off being there. If you want us to stay there longer, that's fine, you can do it. But give it some thought ahead of time, discuss it with your fiance before that night, what happens if people want to go over? Because I'll tell you, it's all exciting at 11 o'clock, people want to go over. But you know what, in 20 minutes, everything can change. And then people start leaving, saying goodbye and stuff like that. And that's how they remember it. So it's worth ending a little bit early so that everybody talks about what a great party it was at. Thanks for watching.